Hello, um, welcome to WHOT Radio. Uh, today for my show, I have Aisha, Angel, Jennifer, and I. Uh, and today's topic is going to be on Russia's anti-gay law interfering in the 2014 Olympics. So I'm opening a discussion on your opinions of a particular com- controversial topic that has been stirring in the news recently. Um, so have you guys ever, have you heard of these dangerous and deadly displays of violence against the gay community at Moscow, Russia? Yes. They, didn't they, like, not let Lady Gaga and Selena Gomez go over there because they were going to, like, represent gay Yeah. Stuff? yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you guys heard yes. any? I didn't hear about I it, so. Yeah. Oh. Well, they have, um, it's really brutal, and it's really, it's very graphic. Like, they have some videos mm-hmm. of, like, p- people who are part of the community with, like, banners and, and like, flags, and they're just, be- like, beating them, for, you know, because that's not allowed there, you know. Mm-hmm. So, like, what are your thoughts and feelings of these acts in this community, against this community? It's like, like, personally for me, I feel like this might sound a little basic or whatever. No, it's fine. But Mm -hmm. they, that doesn't affect you. Yeah, I know. Like, people, like, if you like the same sex, then what what does that have to do with you? Yeah, yeah. What does someone else liking the same sex have to do with you? It's not your life. Like, Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they, they had that they in June, they signed the, the new law where it's not allowed to show any propaganda of, mm-hmm. of the gay community supporting that because mm-hmm. it's against the law. So if you support that and they obviously see that and and you you dress mm-hmm. as if you're in the community, you will either be detained, detained, um, beaten, arrested, or um, get thrown out of Russia. That, like you're you're trying to control who people yeah. love now, like mm-hmm. who. And they're saying the reason for this is they don't want that to be exposed to the the minors and the children. Like they don't want them to view that. But it's like, how is that gonna affect them in that way? It's not hurting them. You're the one affecting them yeah. for it, doing that. And it doesn't change like, yeah. it's like a mental thing. It's not like oh I see people yeah. liking the same sex, yeah. so mm-hmm. I'm gonna like the same yeah. sex too. But and it's kind of sad because many many people of the gay community they're actually extremely terrified to mm-hmm. walk outside and to be dressed the way they want to dress to act the way they want to act mm-hmm. so they try to hide themselves and who they really are so they try to so they won't get hurt or mm-hmm. have the consequences thrown at them so do you believe the gay community will receive a backlash of hate because of the recent boycottings from the winter olympics No? No. (laughs) Do you believe um, Russia's law of banning gay propaganda from minors is right? It's not right. Yeah, that's not. They do the same thing in Jamaica, too. They don't allow... Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you believe any of the audience at the Olympics will show propaganda, such as rainbow flags as a statement to the world? No. Isn't... Is that allowed? No, it's not allowed. Do you think they would show it as a rebellion? Yeah. 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 I feel like there has to be someone. There is, yeah. like, theories rolling around recently that they're trying not to focus on the audience as much mm-hmm. this year. They're trying to focus more on the stadium mm-hmm. because they're frightened that they're going to see, like, a little display of something, and they don't want that. They want it to yeah. be silent. They don't want anyone to be aware of what's going on in there. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think this law will apply during the Olympics if an athlete is gay? Oh, that's... It's going to be very interesting to see everything. Yeah. Because yeah. these are yeah. all firsts that are going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's never happened in history before. Mm, yeah. So it's going to set a precedent of, of what's to come. Yeah. Um, maybe not in all the Olympics because it's in different countries. And, mm-hmm. you know, like the United States is very gay friendly. But yeah. at least in communist countries, and it's mm-hmm. going to be um, it's gonna be something to see. It's going to yeah. be historic. So. Yeah. yeah. Because... Um, cause there's actually some Olympics, like, a, like athletes, they're actually, like, some of them are, are gay. So, if, they said that if, it's fine if they're gay, but if they show any support or any, like, like, spirit, like, that they were, like, they support it no matter what, they will, um, get, um, um, get thrown out of the, the contest, the competition. Just a question to your, yeah. your previous question. Um, 
they don't want it being exposed. Like, they don't want people knowing that they're killing, like, they're yeah. excluding mm-hmm. others. They're saying or, that we're not harming anyone. They're, so they don't want them to know, like, yeah. the violence and everything. No, that's they what They're saying that no one has been harmed. There is no actual statements and no reports that they have been harmed or beaten. But, but they have been arrested, though. But they haven't said anything about that. So, in your opinion, how do you think this law could affect people at the games? I don't know. I think some people might see it and be like, oh, I don't want to be a part of this. And yeah. just not mm. be a part of the whole contest or whatever and just walk out. Yeah, I feel like some people might take like the yeah. sport so seriously. Yeah. They don't really care about everything else that's going on. They just want to win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then there's going to be other people. Like It might draw attention if someone might show the support and just like, rebel against it yeah. will I feel like someone's in a rebel yeah. against yeah. them all do you believe the games are being overshadowed by this hatred toward the gay community kind of kind of not no yeah okay. um, do you believe stating homophobe, homophobic opinions on TV in Russia are giving approval to beat up or harm gay people because there, there have been statements in the TVs in Russia that um, obviously stating that they don't support that. So do you think it's giving pe- the right for others to view that and make it seem like it's okay to do what they want to do towards them? Like, it, I don't know, but, like, that's that's kind of unheard of, like, like the government getting involved yeah. in, like, I don't know. Uh, there might be some other countries that we never know of that. I know, um, well, my friend has told me this because she did research on mm-hmm. it. I know in some parts of Africa it's not allowed. Like, yeah. they'll beat you and it's okay. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. It's just not allowed at all. Like, they just I know some don't parts see it. in Mexico, too, mm-hmm. they're really violent about that. They think that's just not, you know, because mm-hmm. they believe in God a lot. Mm-hmm. So they're like, oh, no, God doesn't allow that, or you can't do that. You know, you're going to go to hell for doing that. It's like some mm-hmm. people even get killed for, you know, yeah. being gay. So it's like. The games will continue, but do you want to see the truth of pro-gay demonstrations during the event or rather have the world blind to the truth? I, I want to. I kind of want to see it. You want to yeah. see the truth? I, it kind of worries me because at the same time, this could affect the person. Mm-hmm. But I really do hope someone re- rebels against, like, yeah, because then it'll open everyone else's eyes to what's really going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it could change. Like, I feel like something yeah, good might come out of it. Okay. I have one more question for you. Um, if you had the chance, will you participate in petitions to stand against Russia's anti-gay law? Yes. Because there's a a real, it's, it's started up a couple months ago. It's really controversial. Online, you know, change.org, that website mm-hmm. where you yeah. sign petitions, mm-hmm. where they're creating um, badges of the rainbow flag, and they want everyone to wear them in the games. And they even want the athletes to wear them on their suits. And this is still so, being a discussion, right? It's yeah, about 40,000 people have signed the petition already for everyone to wear them. Oh, wow. So that might be, that might wow. stir up some more trouble. <laughs> yeah. So. Hopefully, everyone sees it. So, thank you guys for your opinions and thoughts. Um, this is WHA T Radio with your host, Tamara.